our Advent video series. Each week, Pastor Matt and I have chosen an Advent carol to dissect. I will work on the history and the music background, and Matt will do a live stream uh, meditation on the message of it, the text, and the biblical reference for the season that we are in now, the Advent season, the second coming of Christ, where we celebrate two things. We celebrate His first coming, and we celebrate the preparation for His second. So that's our theme this year for Advent, prepare the royal highway. So it's only fitting that we begin there. Now anytime I do an archaeology on a hymn, I basically want to answer three questions. Who, what, and where? And this one, it took a little more research than I actually thought. This hymn, I've known for quite a while, so I thought it was pretty common, and it's really not. Okay, so the who. It was composed by Franz Mikhail Franzen. Yes, Franz Franzen. In Sweden, well, now it's Finland, but it was Sweden. You see, the borders changed back and forth a few times there, back in the 18 and 7 and 19th centuries, excuse me. So he, he composed it in 1812. Now, Franzen was actually a librarian. He was a professor of literary history. He did become a minister later in his life, and he passed in 1847. So he was born in a town in Sweden, which is now a town in Finland. And he composed this, and I'm going to butcher the Swedish, but it's basically this. Bereden veg for Herren. Translated, make way for the Lord. Open the doors. Make distance. Part the path. Show the path. Show the light. Something to that effect is the actual translation. So there are two translations of this poem, this hymn. The first one is not ours, and the most famous one is not ours. Showing up in roughly 60% of the hymnals out there is Prepare the Way, O Zion, which comes out of the Presbyterian tradition. And that is showing up in a lot of hymnals now. Prepare the way, O Zion, your Christ is drawing near. Let every hill and valley a level way appear. Greet one who comes in glory, foretold in sacred story. O blessed is Christ who came in God's most holy name. So obviously, it shows up in the Advent section of their hymnal, but it speaks to a celebration of the first coming. Ours, our translation is prepare the royal highway, the king of kings is near, let every hill and valley a level road appear. Then greet the king of glory foretold in sacred story, Hosanna to the Lord, for he fulfills God's word. Even in the second stanza we see a more Palm Sunday reference. God's people see him coming, your own eternal king. Palm branches strew before him, spread garments, shout and sing. So our translation is much more of a Palm Sunday hymn than Prepare the Way of Zion. Prepare the Way, O Zion, is the older translation. So some could argue that it's the more accurate, but we have seen this in hymnody forever, that a new hymnal comes out and there's a suddenly a new translation. Case in point, this hymnal celebrating grace is actually for Baptist churches. It was uh, edited by one of my professors at the Baptist seminary where I attended. And it's a completely different translation, based on the same opening line. Prepare the royal highway, the king of kings is near. The first stanza is quite close. The hope of every, salvation, of every nation, God's promise of salvation. This translation comes from Philip Young in 2005. So we're still changing hymns, adding hymns, altering hymns but they still can point to the same season of Advent. So our translation comes from our Lutheran hymnal, 1978. There's no authorship. 
it just says the hymnal version and that's what most hymnals use. We have the ELW has the exact same one as well as our Missouri Synod. The tune has no history. The tune is separate from the hymn, of course. Most tunes can be paired to several different hymns, but this tune just says sometime before 1560. In other words, it's a Swedish folk tune, and a lot of hymns will use tunes that were just handed down generation to generation. This one is just kind of a stepping hymn, or a dancing hymn tune. You can just move to it. Bum 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 bum. Interestingly, most of the versions I have found of this hymn being performed is very slow. I like to have a little more lilt to it because it, as you sing it, you feel like you're working, you're moving, you're in motion, and that is what I think the hymn is really all about. We must prepare. We must work towards. The second coming. And we do this with our decorating houses and churches and we anticipate Christmas. Well, that's the idea of this hymn. It's the perfect hymn to start the Advent season. So I will play the full thing and sing all the stanzas with the lyrics on the screen for you at home. I hope you enjoy this Advent carol. Welcome to the Advent season. God's blessings to you. God's peace. 